One Piece episode 1105 is here. Last week, we saw Stussy suck off Rob Lucci and Kaku both in one go. It was a beautiful sight to behold, but this week, we should be getting... I don't really know, actually. What do we get this week? Zoro fights S-Hawk for a second. Sanji steps in. He doesn't fight S-Shark, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just go in here and re-witness this. Uruashiki Hangyaku. Naitusha. Stushi. Is that One Piece music? That is One Piece music. What the heck? <laughs> I, heard, I heard the guitar, the violin. I was like, oh, this ain't One Piece. Like, like, did I leave my YouTube music open? What's going on here? Wow. One Piece is up in the music game. Wow, that's, that sounded good. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? What the hell? It sounds as if I'm watching a fantasy isekai. But it's One Piece. Let me tell you, when I think of One Piece, I do not think of good sound design. So this is kind of surprising. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like jazz now. Yeah, it's, it's switching up a little bit. Whoa, my God. Yeah, this fits this really well. That's another new sound effect. What's interesting about this, so, you know, quick, quick tangent. What's interesting about this sound design is that I think two months ago, one of the One Piece Toei animators actually came out and said that they absolutely hate One Piece's sound design. They said that the animation for One Piece and the art quality is very top notch. Sorry for lack of a better word, but they said the sound design just doesn't match up with it. And they've been using the same sounds for years and years. And it just does not do the anime a great service whenever they employ such talented artists, which I feel like they took his comments in stride because look at this, the, you know, the sound design, look at what, what the hell is going on here, right? Like, I'm actually really impressed. I would be mad though, to be fair. Like if I worked on a scene for like, you know, weeks on end, you know, it looks really good. People are hyping it up. And then they get the same sound effects from like episode 200. I'd be like, damn it, you know, like, ah, I'll make the sound effects myself. God damn it. Yeah, I, I don't blame them. And uh, it wasn't just like a nobody animator. It was the person who worked on like Zoro versus King, Luffy versus Kaido. Like he, he worked on a lot of great sequences. They even worked on the opening and they're like, hey, sound design sucks, guys. <laughs> you know, Japan, Toei, please do us better. And, uh, yeah, it really does look like they listen to him. Are you scared of me? Could she suck Brook? Or what happens if you bite his bones? Bone marrow? Milk? I don't know. I don't trust someone who betrays their friends. Nice. Stussy is such a great ally. I still find it interesting that when we met Stussy, when she transformed into her bat form, we didn't get like the devil fruit confirmation at all. I, I still wonder if there's like something more to it. You know, now that we're in the final saga, you know, I gotta stay on my toes. Never know what Oda's gonna pull. It's like a mini big mom over here. Yeah, who's Stussy? Who is that? That's a long time to be a spy, man. 20 years, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. Hey, hey, maybe I'm weak willed, but 20 years as a spy? Man, I. I feel like after those 20 years, I'd just be on their side at that point. I'd be like, you know what? Maybe I like Cypherpole, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, maybe I like the Celestial Dragons, dude. 20 years? Yeah, yeah you never know. Things can change. The Seraphim are still destroying that building? What? Well, they're more just like staring at the building, but it's still scary. I'm surprised that building is still standing. That's the building everyone's in. How is it still standing? Like, it got blasted with, like, a bajillion beams. You know, S-Hawk just cut off the top for some reason and not, like, slice it down the middle. Like, an Udus' shock hit it. Like, look at this. How is this building still standing? I mean, it's got to be made out of something crazy. 
Some high tech uh, wapple metal part C stone. I don't know. That's a strong building. Especially him. Stop! Here's an order. Stop what you're doing. Don't move. York is taking her sweet time, huh? Oh, oh, the Zoro Clash! Nice slow mo. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, that looks cool. I love the noise of his slashes. It kind of sounds like a Star Wars gun. Oh, that's from the opening, right? Yeah, I think we saw that before. We saw that shot. That's cool. Zero look kind of unimpressed. Do you see him? Like, hmm. Huh. <laughs> uh, you look more human than he does. What a that's a crazy thing to say considering the fact that he has white hair and lunarian wings. <laughs> you look more human than Mihawk, who's actually probably a human. <laughs> Insane statement. What a switch up. One minute York's a badass and the next minute she's crying on the floor. Man, these guys need to learn how to speak faster. I'd have like a two times speed, especially if they're a robot, right? Yeah, put them on two times speed, brother. Nice cast, Frankie. And Sanji has Edison, right? Nice. Damn, he sound like a rocket. That sounded futuristic. Dude, the boys are too good. Zoro, too strong. Sanji, too fast. Oh yeah, I forgot. Edison's order went through. Yeah, just a delay on the attack. They're my warriors who almost just killed us. Oh, yeah, Zoro and Sanji Seraphim because they'd have devil fruits. Yeah, that'd be insane. Yeah, what would you give them? No! Poor Luchi and Kaku. Damn it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, where's Luffy going? Oh, this looks cool. You know, like, we have the dark, decrepit, uh, corridor here, but in the manga, like, you know, everything's black and white, so it seemed more, like, you know, jolly, I would say, or, like, the lights are on, but no, dude. Got some dark, scary-looking hallways. I like it. Feels very dead spacey. What, the disappearance of Dr. Vagapunk? Yeah. Oh! Sphinx Village! Okay, yeah, 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 here we go. Weevil! Oh, wait! If we see the Weevil Ryokugyu fight, that would be massive. Wait, do we see it? In the manga, they skipped over it. So I'm expecting them to skip... No, I don't know. They drew out the Ryokugyu fight in Wano. Yeah, because because in, in Wano, we didn't see Admiral Greenbull fight King or Queen. We just panned over and King and Queen were captured. But in the anime, they actually showed us like a little sequence. If they show us a Weevil sequence, that'd be, that'd be really big. Because we have not seen Weevil fights yet. Oh, and here comes one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I love this guy. Him right here, right, right here, right here. Yes. Banger design. You see, you see that? <laughs> People start shooting. Damn! Look at that authority, man. 
Got the little mouse ears and everything. The whiskers. God, how can you not like this guy? The pink jacket. You know, this guy's giving heavy Doflamingo vibes. How'd they hear about this rumor in the first place? Who's talking? Who's who, who's spreading the rumor that Sphinx Village has Whitebeard's treasure? <laughs> Sounds like office talk. Oh, he's gonna do the finger thing again? Ute! It is a cool speech. This guy, dude, he, you gotta admit he gets down to business. Restrainer. Oh, I see. Kill the kids first. Have the grandma watch. <laughs> no, they're gonna get rid of her first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is huge. Oh, but here comes Weevil. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, it's like a hungry, hungry hippo. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> is that the strength of a young white beard I see? Oh, that was just... Okay, uh, that wasn't that bad. I, I, I was expecting the mountain to explode, to be honest. But hey, that's pretty solid, too. Yo. Don't mess with my daddy's hometown. Tell him, Weevil. Tell him all about your daddy. Yeah. Weevil destroyed all the troops after him. Look at that muscle. The, you know, Queen, brother. Queen and Wano was talking about how his fat was muscle and how if he got skinny, he'd be too popular. Oh, dude, who cares about that? This is fat muscle right here, brother. You see you see this guy? Oh, my God. Look, look, look at that. Wow. This this is like when you watch, like, and you see, like, an orc pop up, and the orc has, like, you know, 50-pack abs. It's like that. Yeah, dude, this, this is horrifying. If I was a marine and Weevil took me down, I, I'd be scared. I'd be scared. You know, you're gonna wake up in a cave. I don't know, man. <laughs> He's as strong as a monster, dude. Ah, how did this Green Bull beat this guy? Oh, please show Green Bull. If it weren't for that huge man, we would have been done for. Yeah, he's a hero. I like Weevil. Oh. Damn it! Ah! They didn't show it. That's fine. Uh, you know, like, we, we can only get so lucky with these off-screen fights. We, we can only get so lucky. <laughs> Give us the treasure. No way she believes in the rumor, too. Huh. Um... Will Marco save Weevil? Yep, ask Vegapunk. He created Weevil. Weevil's just a little clone. Or, like, a uh, big clone. <laughs> a failed clone, really. But I don't know, you know, like, my, my hot my hot press theory. Well, I, I'm assuming a lot of people also have this thought, too, so it's not uniquely mine. When I first saw this, I was like, yo, Ryokugyu, we saw what he did to Shinobu, right? Like, if he sucks Weevil off really hard, then there's a chance that when we next see Weevil, we are going to see something that should resemble Whitebeard. Because, well, I don't know. Weevil is all muscle. I don't know, but I guess there is a chance that if Weevil gets sucked off, he will look like a young Whitebeard. Uh, I, I I think that is plausible, and that could even be the reason why they off-screen the fight, too. I I, I think uh, that could be pretty valid, but we'll see. It's all just speculation right now, but I think it would be a pretty awesome plot point. Kizaru! I wonder how you test it for poison. Do you have like a little machine for that? Or do you like stick your finger in and just lick it? Here's your food, sir. It's all pre-licked. Nobody died five hours after that. So you should be solid. You might be wondering, who is Kizaru pouring tea for? Well, let me tell you. Let me see him. Hmm. 
Look at that schnauzer, dude. It's a long nose. It's none other than Saint J. Garcia Saturn. Boom. Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Boom, yeah! Damn, that's a lot, that's a lot of text. <laughs> Yo, what a hard ending. You know, I, this episode was pretty good. Wait, 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 preview, preview, preview. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What are they cooking up next week? Cyberpol Agents, uh, Pacifistas, okay. Oh, Nami stepping on Luchi? Please be me. Um, Gust of Wind, Sentamadu, Trouble Occurs, Seek Dr. Vegapunk. Oh, blue hair. Well, I'll see more guns. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, looking good, man. Looking good. Anime is moving at a pretty decent pace. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm always surprised whenever we get good episodes like this. And honestly, Egghead so far, in terms of pacing, animation, and sound design, you have to throw that in there. Sound design, it's been a 10 out of 10. But hey, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you later.